absolutely appalled, and I thought you were very patronising there, Liam. Um, why haven't you insulated your own home for a start? Because I think where you're coming from is, is pure hypocrisy as well. Sorry, is that the case? Is your home not insulated, Liam? Susanna, whether my... Um, Just answer the question, Liam. It's not, is it? We know it's not. Whether, my, whether, my, whether my home is insulated or not doesn't change the fact that oh. millions of people's homes aren't insulated Hang on a and they're moment. not Sorry. going to be. Is this the case? You're, you're saying you would risk your life, risk your life for Insulate Britain? but you're not going to insulate your own home. Susanna, the thing is... Sorry okay, if I sound patronising, but that sounds no, no, like no, you're completely no, that's sabotaging that's your cause. Simple, the thing is, this question. is like a shame that this discussion has been like debased in this way, because what we're talking about is the future of, the, the, uh, of our country. Yes. Our country is going to be destroyed if we don't get home? in... If we don't get this sorted Doesn't out... start at home? Well, you know, insulation costs thousands, tens of thousands of pounds. You're aware of that. OK, so you're saying you can't afford to insulate your home? No, what I'm saying is millions of people over so in the can, country... So you can, it's not. Millions of people in the country cannot afford to do it. That's why millions of our people oh, so are So you're in... not insulating your home as a protest? Do you think against... it's acceptable for millions of the people Go. in our country to be living in fuel poverty, tens of thousands of them to be dying in their homes, freezing to death. Do you think that's acceptable? Liam, because I can't understand why just, can you wouldn't start with insulating here. your own home. Whether that's true or not, do you think that's acceptable? But it because is that's true, what's Liam. going on. Right. Liam, can I just... Points. We've been uh, writing facts. letters for 30 years. We've been writing petitions for 30 years. We've been pleading with our government for 30 and years. And lives. what we're saying to the government is this. This is our line in the sand. We are demanding that the government make a meaningful statement to save the future of this country. And if, and they, if they refuse to do it, then they, they can put us in prison. And that's the no, Home Secretary's they decision. To do it, and I've had people. enough of talking to people in this country about Morgan. what we're doing. <laughs> you don't appear. This is the state of things. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen watching this programme, we now know that these protesters are actually following in the footsteps of Winston Churchill. That is the level of intellectual debate 